I will break down how you can automatically reply to messages on Instagram. And I will show you the easy way, so how we can reply to simple words. And I will show you how we can reply by using AI that is trained on your own data, such as your website or your own internal documents. And in this video, we will create these Instagram automations for an e-commerce business. And I will guide you step by step. So I will show you what chat automation tool you should use, how you can connect it to your Instagram account, and how you can create these Instagram automations yourself. And at the end, I will even give you the template for free so you don't have to build it yourself. And you can just copy and paste it. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Joran and I'm the founder of Chatomize. And at Chatomize, we are inspiring over 50,000 people every month to create chat automations that generate more leads, boost your revenue and reduce costs. And we are working with businesses from small to large and in any industry. So if you just follow the steps in this tutorial, it will work for your business as well. So what are we going to build? We are going to automatically reply to messages on Instagram for an e-commerce business. And by using these automations, an e-commerce business can automatically reply to questions even when they're not working. And this will actually save them a lot of time and money because they don't have to manually reply to each and every question. And at the same time, it's also better for their customer because their customer gets a direct response to their question. And this chatbot will also be trained on a custom knowledge based document. So this knowledge based document that you will get as well will contain information about the business such as return information and warranty information and delivery times. So we can train the chatbot on that and automatically answer questions about that document on Instagram. Let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to create a free ManyChat account. And ManyChat is the chat automation platform that we are going to use to automatically reply to messages on Instagram. And I've used ManyChat for the last four years for almost all of my clients. And I use them because they're very easy to use. If you don't have any experience, you can just get started immediately and you don't have to code. They're 100% meta approved. So you can just use them without the risk of getting banned. And they're very cheap. They offer a free plan, but their pay plan already starts at $15 a month. So what you need to do is you can just go to chatomize.com slash MC and this will bring you directly to the manager website. I also added the link in the description. Then you can just click on get started and then click on Instagram and then click on continue with Facebook. Then you can log in with your Facebook account and then your ManyChat account gets created. So I actually have a step-by-step -step video on how you can connect your Instagram account to ManyChat. So after you've watched this video, I highly recommend going to that video to make sure that you did all the right steps because otherwise some features of ManyChat won't be working. So once you have connected your ManyChat account to Instagram, we can get started by automatically replying to messages. And we're going to build this for an e-commerce business. So it might be that someone has a question about the return policy because the return policy is a question that is asked a lot to e-commerce businesses. So we can create an automation for that. So in ManyChat, you can just go to automation and then click on new automation then click on start from scratch. And then here you can click on rename so we can rename this automation. So I would just call this return policy and then in brackets, I will state Instagram. And each automation in ManyChat consists of a trigger and consists of the content of the automation. So the trigger is the event that starts the automation. And in this case, we want to start the automation when someone asks a question about the return policy or the refund policy. So in order to do that, you can just click on new trigger, select Instagram, and then go with user sends a direct message with a keyword. And then we can say if the message contains return or the message contains refund and, and we can do that by using a message condition. So, and the message contains policy. So when somebody is asking a question about the return policy or the refund policy, then we're going to reply with this flow. So then we can just click on create and to give an answer, we can just select Instagram here and then we can say our Instagram message. So we can just give them an answer to this question. So I'll just copy this from my second screen. 
But here we can say at e-commerce biz, you always have the option of returning your order within 14 days after delivery. And once you gave that answer, you actually want to ensure a good customer experience. And you can do that by asking a very simple question. You can just ask, does this answer your question? And if they say, yes, it did answer my question, then it's fine. If they say, no, it didn't answer my question, you can connect them to one of your support agents. So what you can do is a next step, you can say Instagram and you can say, does this answer your question? Now you can add two quick replies. So quick replies are buttons inside Instagram. And then you can say, yes, it does. And you can say, no, I need help. When someone clicks on, yes, it does, then we can send another message. And that message will be great. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them here. If they say, no, I need help, then we can say, no problem. We will connect you with one of our support agents. And this is also great about ManyChat. So ManyChat has a built-in live chat. So what we can do is we can hand over the conversation to a live chat agent. Then the live chat agent can solve the problem of the customer. And then once they did that, they can hand the conversation back to the chatbot and the chatbot can take over again. So in order to do that, we can add a step and it will be an action and we will add an action, choose for live chat, and then we will mark the conversation as open. So in ManyChat, we have two types of conversations. We have open conversations and closed conversations. Open conversations are conversations that are handled by your live chat agents or by your customer support staff. Closed conversations are handled by your automations and by your chatbot. So in this case, we want to hand over the conversation to a live chat agent, so we need to mark the conversation as open. So once you did that, we can add another action click on live chat again and then say assign the conversation. So now we can assign the conversation to a specific team member or to a specific group of team members. So in this case, I would just go with myself. And then lastly, we can add an action that will notify the person or persons that are assigned to this conversation. So here you can determine who needs to be uh, notified so in this case i'll just go with myself you can also determine what channel you want to be notified and you can also determine the notification text so in this case we'll just send full name just did something you wanted to know about but it could also be something else you can just change this how you want it and now every time this happens you will get an automatic email from manychat so now we can just click on set live and now basically every time someone asks a question that contains return or refund and it contains policy, then it gives an answer to a question about the refund policy. And then we ask, okay, does this answer your question? If they say yes, great. If they say no, we connect them with one of our support agents. So up until now, it has been very simple. Someone sends a message to our Instagram account. We check if that message contains any keywords. And if it contains any keywords, we reply with a ManyChat automation. But we can actually take it one step further. We can add AI that is trained on our own custom data and automatically reply to questions. And ManyChat doesn't have built-in AI. So that's why we're going to use ChatBase. And ChatBase is an AI tool that you can use to train a chatbot on your own custom data, such as your websites or your internal documents. And if you haven't used ChatBase before, you can just go to chatomize.com slash CB, and this will bring you to the ChatBase website. And then here you can just click on build your chatbot and you can create your own free account and get, get started with ChatBase. So I already did this, so I'll just click on chatbots here. And then here I have my e-commerce business chatbot. So what I did in ChatBase is that I created a chatbot that is trained on this document. So this is a document that contains information about an e-commerce business, about returns, about the delivery times, about how you can track your order, about warranty, all this information. And what I did is I trained it on that. So if you go to sources, then here you can go to files. And then here you can see that the chatbot has been trained on this. And I can also ask questions to this chatbot directly. So here I can just say, okay, what are the delivery times? And it says, if you create an order before three, it will be shipped from our warehouse within two business days. And then I say, okay, how can I track my order? 
and says, yes, you can track your order. When your order is shipped from our warehouse, you will receive an email with a track and trace link. And all this information is inside this document. And the great thing about Chatbase is that it is super user friendly. So you can just upload these documents. And then if you go to the dashboard, then here you have the question, what are the delivery times, which I just asked, and we can actually revise this answer. So if we think like this answer is not good enough, we can just revise it, give the expected response, and then Chatbase will automatically learn from that, which is great. So what we basically need to do is that every time someone asks a question inside Instagram, we need to send that question to Chatbase, then Chatbase gives the answer, and we need to send back that answer to ManyChat. And in order to do that, we're going to use Make. So Make is an integration platform that you can use to connect applications to each other without using any code. So if you have never used Make before, you can just go to chatomize.com slash make. And by using this link, you will actually get one month of the pro plan for free. So you can just sign up, get all the pro features for 30 days, and then you can test out whether it works for you. And Make also has a very good free plan that you can use to get started with it. So this is actually great. And this might seem like a lot to create this integration, but I actually have a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can integrate ManyChat with Chatbase. So I actually recommend going to that video as well, where I explain step-by-step -step on how you can do that. In this video, I will not explain in depth how this integration works, but I will just use this integration inside my Instagram automations. So if we go to ManyChat, we go to settings and then go to Instagram, then here we have the default reply. And the default reply is the automation that will be triggered if no other automation is triggered. So if someone asks a question and that question is not triggered by any keyword in ManyChat, then the default reply will be sent. So in this default reply, we are going to grab that question and send it to Chatbase. And what you can do here is you can just click on select existing and then select the Instagram default reply. And this automation is part of the free template that you can download with the link in the description. So you can just download that template and use this automation that I already created before. So we can just pick this automation, click on it, and there are actually a few important things with this automation. So the first thing is the trigger. So the trigger needs to be set to every time. So every time uh, someone asks a question, we want to send it to Chatbase. And you can also determine if you want to skip story replies. So if someone replies to one of your stories, then you can choose to not send that to Chatbase. So I actually recommend doing that because story replies are often not things that you want to send to Chatbase, are often not related to customer support. So I would just skip that. And then in the second action, what we are doing is we have a field in ManyChat, which I call Chatbase question. And we are going to save the last text input, which is basically the question that we get from someone to this field. And then we're going to trigger make. So we're going to send this question to Chatbase via make. Then if we go to make and go to the integration, and again, I explained that in a step-by-step -step tutorial, I added the link in the description. But what we do over here is that we watch the incoming data from ManyChat. So basically every time we do this, then this will trigger. Then we will send the request to Chatbase. So we're going to send the question and then Chatbase gives a response. Then we're going to set a custom field in ManyChat. So in ManyChat, we have a field called Chatbase answer and we are going to save the answer from Chatbase in that field. And then we're going to send a flow. And what's important with the video that I mentioned before is that in that video, I'm using the Chatbase app. In this scenario, I'm not using the Chatbase app, but I'm using an API call. And the reason why I do that is because there's currently a problem between Make and Chatbase. So Make needs to fix that. But until they fix it, we can just use an API call instead of using the Chatbase app in Make. And there's just a quick difference like, what you need to do here is here you need to just fill in the API key that you have from Chatbase. And then here you need to fill in the Chatbase question. And then here you need to fill in the chatbot ID that you have from Chatbase that you basically can find over here. So if you go to chatbot, then here you have the chatbot ID. You can just copy that 
and then paste that over here. That's basically the only difference that there is with the other video. And again, this is all inside the template that you can just download for free. So I'll just click on OK. So what we do is we get the data from ManyChat, we get the question, we send it to Chatbase, and then we send a flow in ManyChat. And the question is, what flow is that? And the flow that we're going to send is the Chatbase answer and then the Instagram. So what we do in this flow is basically that we, we are going to send the answer that we get from Chatbase. And then we ask, does this answer your question? Just like we did before with the return policy. And then we say, awesome. If you have any other questions, if they say yes, if they say no, then again, we're going to forward them to one of the support agents. So that's basically how it works. Now we have an Instagram account that can automatically reply to messages using simple keywords, but also by using AI distrained on custom knowledge base documents. So let's see how this looks on Instagram. So now I am on my Instagram account and I can just type in what is your return policy because this will trigger our ManyChat automation. Then it will say at e-commerce base, you always have the option of returning your order within 14 days. Does this answer your question? Yes, it does. So then it says, great. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them here. So then we can ask another question that will be triggering our default reply. So I can say, what are your delivery times? And then this question will be sent to Chessbase. So it says, if you create an order before three, it will be shipped from our warehouse within two business days. And I can say, what are your warranty conditions? And it says, if your product is broken within eight weeks of ordering it, you will get a full refund. And then if I say, nope, I need help. And it will say, no problem. One of your agents will contact you as soon as possible and help you. And now if we go to ManyChat and then go to the live chat, then the conversation will appear over here. And the live chat agent can actually take over the conversation. So here we can just pause the automation. And then we can add a delay how long you want to. And then you can basically say, okay, hey there, how can I help you? And then you can have a back and forward conversation with the customer because this is how it looks to the customer. So it will say, hey there, how can I help you? And you can have a back and forward conversation, solve their problem, and then basically remove the pause automation and then mark the conversation as closed. Once you do that, the chatbot will take over again. And then if we ask a question such as the return policy here, then the chatbot will trigger it again. And that's it. That's how you can automatically reply to messages on Instagram without writing any code. And if you want to get started quickly, just go to the link in the description and download my template for free. And there's actually much more that we can do on Instagram. So for example, if someone comments on one of your Instagram posts or reels, we can actually start a conversation with them in the Instagram DM. And you can use this to generate more leads, boost your sales, but also increase the engagement of your Instagram account, which will expand your reach. So if you're interested in that, just go to the video that probably appears over here. And also, if you're interested in getting more familiar with ManyChat and Instagram, I also have a Instagram course for ManyChat on my website. So I highly recommend checking that out with the link in the description. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And as always, if you have any questions on creating Instagram automations or in using ManyChat, Chatbase or Make, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible.